welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar so far we have studied extensively hal sandhi or the consonant sandhi hal sandhi is the sandhi which comes in place of a hal hal is a consonant and we have studied several types of and instances of hal sandhi so far at the end let us take a recap of all different varieties of hal sandhi that we have studied so far first we said that broadly hal sandhi can be divided into two ekasthanika ekadesha and ekasthanika dvyadesha in contrast with the ach sandhi where you also have ekasthanika ekadesha the difference is ekasthanika dvyadesha in the ach sandhi it is dvisthanika ekadesha which is stated also as an adhikara and we also studied five instances of dvisthanika ekadesha of ach sandhi namely guna sandhi vriddhi sandhi pararupa sandhi savarna dirgha sandhi and also finally purva rupa sandhi in hal sandhi however we have ekasthanik dvyadesha where there is one substituent which is substituted or replaced by two substitutes ekasthanik dvyadesha ekasthanik ekadesha is further classified into two broad categories purva nimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha and also para nimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha this category was explicitly this categorization was explicitly mentioned in order to account for a unique use of the instrumental case which by contrast once again does not occur in the ach sandhi chapter purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha is represented in the form of a diagram in this way so there is b followed by a both of them are in the samhita mode and so b is the nimitta which is purva and then a gets substituted by c so b is purva nimitta a is ekasthani and c is ek adesha so c is purva nimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha so b plus a is the input and b plus c is the output we studied two instances of this purva nimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha and this depended upon the meaning of the instrumental case which was used in the sutras which described shtutva sandhi and also shtutva sandhi so the sutras were stoho shtuna shtuhu and shtuna shtuhu so shtuna and shtuna indicated that shtu and tu could be the purva nimittas as well as the para nimittas and so shtutva sandhi was studied in these two manners purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha and also para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha so two instances were studied as far as purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha is concerned namely shtutva sandhi and shtutva sandhi then comes para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha this can be represented diagrammatically in the following way 
where you have A plus B in close proximity in the Samhita mode, B comes immediately after A and in the environment of B, A gets substituted by C. This B is Para and this is Thani, this is Adesha. So, this Adesha C can be described in the following manner, Para that is B Nimittaka, A that is Eka Sthanika and C that is Eka Adesha. B is the environment, A is the substituent and C is the substitute. So, this is Para Nimittaka, Eka Sthanika, Eka Adesha. A plus B is the input and C plus B is the output. And here once again we studied these instances of Paranimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha in detail. Shtutva Sandhi once again, Shtutva Sandhi also. Then we studied Anusvara Sandhi as well as Parasavarana Sandhi, then Purva Savarana Sandhi, then Anunasika Sandhi and finally Chattva Sandhi. Then we studied Ekasthanika Dvyadesha, where one substituent is replaced by two substitutes, where we have A plus B as the environment, they are in the Samhita mode, B follows A and in the environment of B, this A is substituted by two elements namely A and X. So, this is one substituent replaced by two substitutes and there are three instances of Ekasthanika Dvyadesha. First, Sattva Anusvara Sandhi, second Dvirvachana Sandhi and third Agama Sandhi. We dealt with Dvirvachana Sandhi first and Agama Sandhi then and finally in the previous lecture, we also studied the Sattva Anusvara Sandhi, we have, where we have seen that one substituent gets replaced by two substitutes. In case of Agamas, we applied the principle that Anagamakas are the substituents and Sagamaka Shabdas are the substitutes. Anagamakanam Sagamaka Adeshaha. There are some other Sandhis that are worth mention, namely Kutva Sandhi, Jashtva Sandhi, and Chartva Sandhi as well. Let us study them in brief in this particular lecture. First, let us study the Kutva Sandhi. This is stated by the Sutra Chokkuhu 8230. This Sutra has got two Padas, Choho and Kuhu. Choho is 6 slash 1 of Chu. Chu is Chavarga, which consists of Ch, Ch, J, J and Y. Choho therefore means in place of Chu. And Kuhu is 1 slash 1 of Ku. Ku means Kavarga, means K, Kh, G, Gh and Ng. So, Ku is the substitute. The words continued from the previous sutras are Jali, 7 slash 1 of Jal and this means immediately before. Jal also means all consonants minus semi vowels Yavarala and nasals yamangana na ha is included in the final sutra and part of jhal so ha is obviously a part of jhal padante is also continued which means at the end of a pada so the meaning of the sutra is immediately before jhal or at the end of a pada substitute ku that is kavarga that is ka kha ga gha nga in place of chu that is cha cha ja, 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 ja. and once again here 
we apply the principle of correspondence where first member of one set is correlated to the first member of the second set. So, Chu has got 5 elements, Ku has got 5 elements, Chu is the substituent, Ku is the substitute. So, the first member in this list of Chu corresponds to the first member of the list of Ku. So, in place of Ch, K will be the substitute. In place of Ch, K will be the substitute and so on and so forth. So, if we have these two stages, for example, Chu plus Jal, if this is the condition, if this is the situation, then Chokku applies and substitutes this Chu by Ku. So, Chu plus Jal is the input, 8 to 30 Chokku applies and returns the output namely Ku plus Jal. Similarly, if Chu appears at the end of the Pada, this is the Pada, at the end of which Chu appears, so 8 to 30 applies and substitutes this Chu by Ku. These are the two scenarios in which Chokkuhu will apply and Kutva Sandhi will take place. Let us look at the examples, the specific ones. So first let us see, so Chu plus Jhal and it is substituted by Ku plus Jhal and here are the examples Pacha plus Tavya and Ch is followed by T which is a Jhal and so Chokku applies and substitutes this Ch by K. So, you get, get Pak plus Tavya and then finally you get Pak Tavya. And the other example where Ch appears at the end of a Pada is this. So, Chu at the end of a Pada and that is replaced by Ku at the end of a Pada. So, Vach, this is the Prathama Ekavachana of the word Vach and this Ch gets substituted by K. So, we get Vak. There will be further processing. This K will be further substituted by G by the Sutra Jalam Jashonte and then this G will be further substituted optionally by K by the sutra vavasane. So, at the end we get two outputs vak vag. But as far as 8 to 30 is concerned, the first output of this watch is vak. As we said earlier, after we get the sub get the output namely vag by applying the sutra chokkuhu, then the next sutra jalam jashonte applies and substitutes this ka by ga. So, this is the jashtva sandhi. Let us study jashtva sandhi in brief. The sutra that describes jashtva, jashtva sandhi is this jalam jashonte 8 to 39. This sutra has got three padas jalam which is 6 slash 3 of Jhal that is all consonants minus consonant 5 and semi vowels. Jasho is 1 slash 3 of Jash and Jash means consonant 3 of the class Jabagadada. Ante means at the end and Padasya continues from the previous sutras. So, Padasya is 6 slash 1 of Pada, in this case it means part of Pada. So, the sutra means at the end of a Pada, Jash is substituted in place of Jhal. So, this can be shown in the form of an equation in this manner. So, we have Jhal at the end of a Pada and this Jhal gets substituted by Jash at the end of the Pada. So, for example, Vak, K is Jhal which appears at the end of this Pada and so this K is substituted by G at the end of the Pada. So, Vag. So, the Prathama Ekavachana of the word Vach is 
वाग वाक एंड वेन इन कंपाउंड क इज सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय ग बिकॉज इट इज एट द एंड ऑफ द पद सो वाग विवर धिनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल हैज गॉट ग substituted substituting k stated by this particular sutra jhalam jashonte this is the jashtva sandhi then we have charatva sandhi stated by the sutra kharicha 8455 and kharicha has got two words khari and cha khari is 7 slash 1 of khar and khar means consonant 1 and 2 and sh sh s cha means and so jhalam is 6 slash 3 of jhal and we know that jhal means all consonants minus c 5 and semi vowels charaha is 1 slash 3 of char that is consonant 1 and sh sh s so the sutra means immediately before khar jhal is substituted by char i repeat immediately before khar jhal is substituted by char in place of jhar jhal substitute char so this is the equation jhal plus khar this is the input and the output generated is char plus khar so the example is bhida plus tru and this t is khar first this bhida becomes bheda bheda plus tru and then this d becomes t so bhet tru and finally we get bhet tru as an example of this sutra kharicha and then there is the other sutra that we were talking about va avasane this sutra has got two words va and avasane va means optionally and avasane which is 7 slash 1 of avasana avasana is absence of sounds so immediately before the absence of sound that is the meaning of avasane words continued are jhalam and char charaha so jhalam is 6 slash 3 of jhal which is all consonants minus consonant 5 and semi vowels and charaha is 1 slash 3 of char c consonant 1 and sh sh s so vavasane means immediately before the absence of sounds avasane substitute jhal by char jhalam charaha optionally that is va so immediately before the absence of sounds avasane substitute jhal jhalam by char charaha optionally va so we have jhal and there is no other sound that comes immediately after it so this jhal gets substituted by char so here we have vag g is the substitute affected by jhalam jashonte and now vavasane applies and substitutes this g by k and that is to optionally so we have vak as one option and vag as the second option so we have two forms over here vak and vag this is the prathama ekavachana of the word watch this is how charatva sandhi can also be described so we have studied the other sandhis namely kutva sandhi jashtva sandhi and charatva sandhi also it is noted that these three rules belong to the asiddha section of the ashtadhyayi in fact the rules describing the hal sandhi most of them or almost all of them they are all stated in the asiddha section of grammar that is ashtadhyayi 
to 8.4. The peculiarity of this section is that the output of the sutras in this particular section does not become an input to any of the rules stated before. So from 1.1 up to 8.1 within 8.2 to 8.4 also the rules are arranged in such a way that the output input output cycle is well maintained and the derivation process keeps moving till reaching its culmination and no further output is to be produced. This is the speciality of the ordering of the sutras pertaining to Hal Sandhi. Very important feature. Now let us look at some of the examples of Hal Sandhi once again. These are all taken from the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. So, first let us deal with the Shchutva Sandhi. So, first we have Pandavas and Cha, Mamaka Pandavas Chaiva. So, Pandavas plus Cha, and this Sa comes at the end of this Pada, followed by Cha. So, then this Sa is substituted by Sha, and so you get Pandavas Cha as the output generated after the application of the sutra stosh chunash chuho. Similarly, mat chitta madgata prana. So we have mat plus chitta. And so this ta, which comes immediately before cha, is substituted by cha and we get the output mat chitta, that is mat chitta. Yajnyatva moksha se shubhat. So, yat plus jnatva. So, here there is the followed by j, and so this the gets first of all substituted by the, and then this the gets substituted by j. So, finally, you get yajnatva as the output generated. Then we have anuswara sandhi, and here are the examples. So, Drashtvatu Pandava Nikam Vyudham Duryodhanastada. So, let us take Anikam and Vyudham. So, this Ma comes at the end of the Pada followed by V which is a Hal and so Manuswaraha applies and substitutes this Ma by an Anuswara Anikam plus Vyudham. Similarly, Ahankaram Balandarpam Kamankrodhancha Samshritaha. In this particular line of the verse taken from the 16th Adhyaya, here we have Ahankaram and Samshritaha. So this is Ritiya Ekavachanam. So Ma is the ending and because this Ba follows, Ma becomes an Anaswara. Similarly, Balam and Darpam. So, balam samshritaha. So, there is this ma over here, which is followed by the, which is a consonant. So, monuswaraha applies, and that sutra substitutes this ma by an anuswara. Similarly, darpam. Darpa, darpam is also samshritaha. So, this is ma at the end, followed by ka, which is a consonant. So, this ma gets substituted by an anaswara over here. So, we have darpam and kamam. Similarly, kamam and samshritaha and so there is this ma at the end and kamam is followed by krodham that is k at the beginning. So, therefore, this ma at the end of the pada followed by a consonant is substituted by an anaswara. So, kamam. Similarly, krodham, krodham samshritaha. So, this is ma at the end followed by ch. So, this ma is substituted by an anuswara. So, we get krodham cha samshritaha. So many anuswaras. Although the Parasavarna is not done in the Bhagavad Gita, those who recite Srimad Bhagavad Gita tend to pronounce this anuswara as a Parasavarna by making the optional Parasavarna Sandhi. And so, they say 
अहंकारम बलन दर्पं कामं क्रोधैच संश्रिता सो दिस अनुस्वार इज ऑप्शनली प्रोनाउंस्ड एज म विच इज परसवर्ण ऑफ दिस ब दिस अनुस्वार इज प्रोनाउंस्ड एज न विच इज अ सवर्ण ऑफ दिस द दिस अनुस्वार इज प्रोनाउंस्ड एज ग विच इज अ सवर्ण ऑफ क दिस अनुस्वार इज प्रोनाउंस्ड एज ग वंस अगेन विच इज द सवर्ण ऑफ दिस क दिस अनुस्वार इज प्रोनाउंस्ड एज य विच इज द सवर्ण ऑफ दिस च दिस इज हाउ अनुस्वार एंड परसवर्ण संधि आर डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड आर यूज इन द एक्चुअल यूसेज then we have chatva sandhi and here are the examples from shrimad bhagavad gita there are many more first tat shrutva vachanam so tat followed by shrutva so the first thing is this t is substituted by ch so we have tat plus shrutva so this is dashchatva sandhi followed by the chatva sandhi where this sh is substituted by ch and so we have chrutva and then we join them together and we get tat chrutva the sutra shashchoti applies over here similarly yat plus shraddha yo yat shraddhas eva saha so yat followed by shraddha so ta first of all gets substituted by ch by the sutra stoschunashchu and then this sh at the beginning of sh is substituted by ch and so we get yach shraddha so yach shraddha this is the output that is generated and similarly vyasa prasada chrutavan and yachreyasya nischitam bruhi tanme etc there are several examples of this kind of sandhi that is chatva sandhi then there are examples of satva anuswara sandhi for example vishayan tatyaktva so we have vishayan and tyaktva so this na comes at the end of the pada followed by this t and so this na nashchavya prashan so this t is substituted by r and then this r is preceded by an anuswara then this r is substituted by a visarga this visarga then is substituted by s and so we have vishayans and tyaktva and finally vishayans tyaktva so there is this s as well as anuswara so satva plus anuswara both substitute this na and we get vishayans tyaktva and similarly pragnyavadamscha bhashase or hatvartha kamamstu guru nihaiva and so on in all this we do encounter the satvanuswara sandhi to summarize we took a recap of the types of hal sandhi that is consonant sandhi we noted down some more miscellaneous instances of hal sandhi and we also studied the order of rules describing hal sandhi arranged in this particular grammar of panini called ashtadhyayi and we noted that the output of the sutras describing hal sandhi does not become an input for any further operation and finally we also noted down some examples of some types now we study the visarga sandhi from the next lecture onwards thank you for your patience